Hello friends, welcome to this channel and we are here with one more session on the configuration of 6MD663 BCU using Dixie 4 software. In the last couple of sessions, we have already discussed how to configure the 6MD663 BCU double point signals, single point signals, the creation of CFC logic, simple CFC logic, creation of interlocks, how to link the interlock signals into your command and status. Also, uh, we have discussed about some of the basics of Dixie 4 and in this session, we are going to discuss about the 61850 configuration of Siemens Make BCU and how to link the counters to the command and the status signal. So, if you are uh, new to this channel, then you may subscribe this channel based upon the content and if you like those contents, then probably you may uh, subscribe this channel for more such updates for more such videos on protection related topics if you are have already supplied this uh, uh, or if you have already subscribed this channel then you might be aware that all the videos are available in hindi as well as english and uh, before starting this session uh, it is better that if you practice these sessions uh, which we have already covered in last uh, three sessions so it will be better or it will be easier to understand the concepts which I am going to explain in today's session. Also, uh, you can watch the session on 61850 configuration in 7SA5221 relay because the concepts are exactly the same in 7SA5221 as well as BCU. So now we, without wasting further time, let us start with today's topic. Uh, I have already opened the project which I am going to use. This, this is the same project which we are using since last uh, three to four sessions so first of all where you have to go to go in settings inside the settings go to masking io and now the important thing for us is this control device so this go to control device now in the control device you just uh, i am removing some of the 6150 configuration only for our understanding and uh, now if you see here uh, you have uh, this uh, system interface on the source side as well as on the destination side so the source side and destination side 61850 signals are basically uh, used for uh, two different purpose first thing if you want to send any signal from this bcu to suppose any other bcu or any other relay uh, or if you want to send a signal from this bcu to suppose your hmi or suppose uh, your local control room or remote control room then all those signals you have to configure on the destination side if you want to receive any signal from some other BCU or some other relay to this BCU or from the local control room HMI or remote control room HMI to this BCU then also you have to configure those signal into the source side. For example, if you want to give to the command to circuit breaker from the local control room HMI then uh, you must configure those command signal into the source side CFC. So now first of all let us see this 89A. So CFD2 as you know this is the command with feedback double point and you have to configure this signal in the source side. Uh, in Siemens Dixie 4 it is very very easy because if you want to configure this into the destination side Dixie will not allow. So I am right clicking here and it is not allowing. So we have to configure only it into the source side. Just right click and configure. Once you configure a new window will open. This is the 61850 related window and if you see here the important thing is this CTRL that is control is called logical device. I am going to discuss about this uh, 61850 logical device, logical nodes, data attributes, data objects, everything in our uh, complete session on 61850 wherein we will discuss about uh, the basics of 61850 along with the uh, configuration or the creation of ICD, CID, SCD, etc. So we will discuss those things in a separate session, separate theoretical session. Right now, only thing you have to remember is that uh, the logical nodes are predefined in 61850 and those logical nodes for the breakers are for example XCBR for the switch like disconnector or earth switch. The logical node is CHWI Similarly, uh, for your protection signal, it always start with P like PDIS that means protection distance or 1 for protection distance zone 1. Similarly, PDIS 2 for protection distance zone 2. 
also the protection related signals like uh, the signals which start with r are called protection related signal like r r e c that is reclosure signal so all these things we will cover in uh, our separate theoretical session so no need to worry only thing over here is now this gapc so gapc is not uh, related to any of the standard signal of your uh, standard logical nodes of 61850 uh, we are configuring for 89a which is a disconnector so what you have to do go to switch type and select this as disconnector once you select now you will be getting here as chwi and xhwi so now if you see inside your 61850 ic station as well as icd or cid file what you get is ctrl chwi 1 and 1 this 1 2 3 4 it will keep on increasing based upon the number of signals configured so only thing you have to do is just select this as disconnector and the, uh, then link this counter. So I am selecting this as 89A counter. Now what happens once you give the command to this circuit breaker or to this isolator from HMI, the command will be executed based upon the satisfaction of interlock logic that we have already discussed in the last session. Once the command execute. Uh, is executed successfully then this signal ctrl chwi1 1 will get activated and you will receive that signal in your gateway and the operation counter will increase suppose uh, by mistake or inadvertently someone has changed this disconnected to circuit breaker now what happens this uh, property here the logical node changes logical node now changes to xcbr instead of xcs xswi earlier it was x swi that was switch and now because of circuit breaker it changes to xcbr there is no uh, issue in the, in the operation of isolator your op isolator will operate based upon if you give the command from hmi isolator will definitely operate it will update the uh, status also the command counters will also increase but the problem is that if you are following 61850 standard and if you give this icd file to your escada engineer then that escada engineer will get confused because he will see that oh this is xcbr so this is related with breaker and he will not link this signal to the command in case of escada configuration so for uh, this purpose you always have to follow the 61850 nomenclature so select the disconnector apply and okay similarly for the other signal suppose you want to give the command for it and b also select and now if you see here this is automatically updated to 2 and select this as disconnector and then link the cycle counter to it and b apply and ok i will show you for some breaker also so the right click breaker now this will automatically updated to three you have to select here as circuit breaker and then the counter as cb counter now then apply and ok so this is completed for your command part next thing is the status that means if you want to send any status from this bcu to suppose some other bcu so what oh sorry what i am going to do i am removing the pre-configured signals for the sake of better understanding and now uh, the first thing is uh, you want to send the isolated status support from this bcu to your local control room or for the remote control room uh, basically from this bcu to gateway so what you have to do is right click uh, on this dp signals configure once you configure you will see here it is exactly the same window the only thing you have to do is change this to disconnector once you change it will be control chwi1 and you have to link with 89a counter so apply ok similarly you have to do for 89b also so for 89b right click configure and then select this as 89b apply ok counter i have to change so counter 89b apply ok similarly for circuit breaker also this is circuit breaker just configure select this as circuit breaker this will automatically change to 3 and then the circuit breaker apply ok uh, so now if you see here the source side and destination side masking of your double point signals are completed if you want to uh, do some signals suppose you want to send the interlock signals also from this BCU to your uh, HMI so you have to do what is just select this signal 89a interlock right click configure and now if you see here the signal by default will be control ggio1 spcso 12 why is 12 because i might have configured already 11 signal so it is coming 12 uh, this signal will also come uh, if uh, you take this offer only value that match the existing control system and existing control system that means uh, 
it will be related with 89A isolator. If you doesn't tick this, uh, then by default it will give you the signal control GGIO1 SPCSO12. But if you take this, now the 6182 related signal, you, what you will get is control that is logical device, then CILO that is control, ILO means interlock. ENA that is enable and OPN open also control CILO1 enable close so you will get two signals inside your 61850 window now apply and ok similarly for other interlocks also just click configure and ok you don't have to do anything else and click for 89L also if you want and this completes your single point signal now uh, if you want to configure some other single point signals which are your generic uh, signals which you have configured uh, based upon the inputs of your scheme drawing, suppose 86.21 healthy or bus bar operated or bus uh, bus bar main one operated, main two operated, anything like this or suppose uh, I am first removing these signals for um, the purpose of understanding. So suppose I remove this two signal and now I will configure again for your understanding purpose. So what you have to do, suppose I want to send this C, uh, CBSF6 load to your HMI. So just right click, configure and now you see no uh, 61850 related uh, box is coming here because these signals are not related to 61850. Another thing, uh, what you get is control GGIO1 SPCSO8. Now, why it is uh, 8 is coming? Earlier you see there were 12, but why 8 is coming? Because I have already deleted 4, so it is 12 minus 4, so 8. So just click OK. Similarly, you can go for next signal. It will automatically change to 9. You don't have to enter anything over here. It will be control generic. Uh, object GGIO1 SPCSO9 single point signal 9 and in this way you can go on configuring as many signal as you want in your events as many signal as you want in your uh, for using purpose or for DR anything uh, for events in the HMI so you can configure as per your requirement next what you have to do is just say uh, before that I will show you some uh, internal uh, signals like the auto reclosure signal and I have already explained to you that auto reclosure is for the pro it is a protection related signal so if suppose I want to send this auto reclosure successful signal from this BCU to main one delay for goosing purpose or from this BCU to HMI for events so now uh, this signal is already configured I will show you the properties of this signal so right click go to property and now if you see here this is control which is your logical device R means protection related, REC that is reclosure and auto reclose that is auto reclosure, ST means status that is this signal is if any SCADA uh, engineer will see this signal in the ICD file or CID file he will uh, or he or she will directly uh, see this signal and conclude that oh this signal is for auto reclosure successful or unsuccessful state. So now just ok and what you have to do next is save this and once you save it will give the message that 61850 parameter has been changed so you have to accept yes close once you close this just close this close this and now what you have to do is go to 61850 station right click object properties go to update if you see here because we have changed something so this is the parameter is not coming as updated you have to select this update all parameter set it will take uh, one to two minutes because presently i have added only two device so number of device is very low so it will be updated very quickly otherwise it will take uh, more time depending upon the number of devices which are available in your 61850 station once it is updated you will get the message at 040 warning so you have to just close it close this also and then you have to do this send this to dixie 2 device uh, once you send uh, from dixie 2 device it will be completed and your 61850 configuration is complete you can see the 61850 related signal in your 61850 station also so just open by double clicking and if you see here in the source side uh, uh, the signals that i have con uh, configured was all was in the ctrl itself so in the ctrl the signals that i have configured was for CHWI and XCBR, so CHWI1 and this is position. That means the signal that we get here is CTRL, CHWI1, POS. And if you drag and drop this signal over here, now this signal is available for being sent from this BCU to any other uh, relay or any other BCU. Uh, if you want this isolatory status in some other BCU, suppose for interlock or suppose for voltage selection logic, then you can send. Or uh, if you want this, uh, suppose it is for breaker. So if you want this breaker status from this BCU to any other main one, main two relay for DR purpose, then also you can send. 
and if you see here this is 6 md 663 bcu 1 f1 bcu this is the name that i have used then control isolator 89a cawi1 position if you say the source the source of the signal is your control cawi1 position i am removing this signal presently because i don't want to send to any other bcu just uh, save since i have not changed anything so it will save without any warning or without any message just close in that way you can see any signals uh, as per your requirement as per your understanding and as per your scheme requirement basically so in this session we have seen how to configure the 61850 uh, signals in your 6MB663 BCU through Dixie 4 software. We have already discussed about the configuration of double point signal, single point signal, creation of CFC logic, creation of interlock, the linking of interlock signal, the linking of counters also we have discussed in today's session. And uh, hopefully in the next session we will discuss about the graphic editor in that we will discuss how to create the uh, graphics for circuit breaker or isolators command, isolator status and then how to link those command and status from the masking IO to your graphic display. In some separate video, we will discuss about the settings or the various settings of 6MD663 BCU. We will keep only up to this point. If you like the content, then please uh, subscribe this channel and you may share this video you, with your friends so that more and more people get aware about these concepts and they may implement these concepts at their organization. Further, it is better that you practice these concepts as much as you can with the help of, uh, suppose, a software that you can install uh, directly for, uh, by downloading from Siemens website and then practice or configuring some default BCU or 7SA5 to relay with your scheme and then practice with me so that it will be better for you to understand these concepts. It is better for you to apply these concepts in your organization. And also, if you don't like the content, then also you may comment in the comment section so that based upon the feedback received from your side, I will try to improve upon on the sessions that are going to come in the coming days. And thanks for watching this session. We will meet again with the topics that I have already discussed in the coming sessions. Till then, thank you and goodbye.